hey guys so for in this video we will be creating um, a create poll mutation and we'll have the name so name will be something like a text so you will say what is your favorite color and the options so we'll send in the options like green and blue and what we'll return after creating the poll we'll return a boolean so this is our target today for to create and also in the last video I was talking about in the poll module we were importing this user module so the thing is we don't really have to import this user module because um, I was taking a look in this user entity and over here we were importing the poll entity as well and we didn't really ha need to import the poll module in our imports that is because we are only using this poll for uh, TypeScript types so rather than um, unless or until you're creating a dependency injection user repository in our poll module we want the, if you want the same instance uh, we need to pass in the user module or else if we just using it for types and all it's fine so we can remove that um, user module in our poll module and also we can remove this export as well so that is it so if we try to restart our server again everything seems to go fine As you can see here our server has restarted with no issues so that's what I said unless and until you want to create a user service instance okay the same instance or pass in as a dependency injection you don't have to import user module so for this for creating a create module create a whole mutation let's first create a resolver so we can use the um, nest CLI so nest generate R for resolver pool and dash dash no spec so here we have created a new file called resolver and also let's create the service as well service file so just change R to S and we'll create a service file so let's create a mutation first and let's call it uh, mutation we need to import this seems like there's a typescript issue let's restart our typescript server okay so we'll be returning a boolean and let's call this um, create pool we need to import this from nest GraphQL okay and the thing um, another thing is First, we like only the people who can create the poll is on the people who has the users who has uh, logged in. So, if the user has not logged in, uh, they can't create the poll. So, we need to do a check before that. So, we can do a check. Um, for example, we can just call in the context and just pass in the context like this and get the context types from my context. And we can say context dot request dot session dot user ID, and we can check if whether the user ID exists or not. So also we need to do is if the user ID doesn't exist, we need to send an unauthorized um, message for our users for our front end or the GraphQL server. So so for every mutation that we create, on every mutation that we have to check on uh, this user ID in our sessions it's going to be uh, gruesome so rather than repeating ourselves we need to follow the dry pattern so nest.js gives us this um, guards for implementing guards so we can just add in uh, the guards like this for example we implement our guards and you can add in in our resolver just use guards and pass in the guard so if you take a look in the GraphQL tooling it's exactly the same the only difference for creating a guard in um, nest.js for GraphQL is we need to pass in this GraphQL execution context so um, nest.js can understand where our context is coming from because we have requested our context from here because of GraphQL so let's copy this over for creating our guard and let's create a new guard over here so we'll call it auth.guard.ts 
space I think and in our auth card so ne if we need to get the request so there is a function called get context over here and after that we can get the request from our get context so request like this let's call this const request equal to let's type this up we can give types from request so this is coming from express okay so then we can say if um, request dot session dot user id exists or not so if it exists we'll return true or else we'll return false we also check whether the session is ex exists or not so request dot session and and so if I uh, this should exist first and this should exist then only we'll return true so we can also take a look in console.logging if the request.session.userIG exist and you can also take a look if our odd card works or not so let's use this odd card in our resolver so we can pass this by creating use guard and we'll pass in our odd guard and that's it so let's um, let's remove this context over here and move this as well just for now we'll just say return true because we are returning a boolean just take a look if our auth card works or not so let's start our server so in our um, let's take a look in our database SQL voting app select star from users seems like there is no user in our database let's flush our DB as well so redis CLI flush DB now let's do keys stars there's nothing over there as well so let's go back to our database go back to um, localhost 3000 slash GraphQL okay seems like this hello world is coming from the app module that I've created no that was created for us in the beginning so this is coming from here let's remove this we don't really need that let's remove the controller as well and the app dot module let's remove this provider and controller that is fine now let's go take a look in our server if it restarted yes so that should be slash graphql okay so let's sign a guy up um, so the thing is signing a if you want to sign up a user we need to send the message and stuff like that send the email so in our user service let's um, comment that thing out rather than sending the email all the time let's just add in let's say to do um, remove the comments you know and also what we need to do is um, over here we are taking a check for confirm is false so in our um, user entity we can do is we can just say to here and we just add in a to do um, default should be false okay so in a service also we need to save this up so now we don't have to worry about um, sending the message and things like that so yes so um, let's press the play button sign up is null we go back to login have the same email and password press the play button over here we'll get the login session over here and let's go back to um, create poll uh, seems like I've already this is my past poll that I've created okay so create poll rotation I think it works let's take a look yes create poll let's press the play button it's returning true let's go take a look in our server here you can see our user id has been pasted so what if we log out so let's log out the user um, so 
press the play button go back to create the pool press play button here and here we go we are getting a status code 403 error so that is it guys for this video for the next video we'll continue creating our create poll mutation thank you guys for watching